Today's episode was originally going to feature my recent conversation with the extraordinary Lucia Migarelli. However, given the recent string of hate crimes against Asians in our country, I decided to reschedule that episode for next time so that I could take a moment to express my feelings about what's been happening. Being half Korean, these hate crimes hit very close to home. Events like these are a great source of pain and they make me, like many others, extremely concerned for the safety and well-being of my own friends and family. In June of 2020, after the brutal murder of George Floyd, who was one of countless victims of hatred and racism, so many people, including myself, were overwhelmed with pain and horror. One of the best ways I felt that I could express this suffering and outrage was through music. So I shared a performance of the cadenza from Shostakovich's first violin concerto as a way of speaking out against such abhorrent injustice. The reason I chose this piece is because Shostakovich was no stranger to unjust killings and oppression. He lived most of his life under the Soviet dictator Yosef Stalin, who forced many artists into being tools for his propaganda machine. In constant fear of being murdered, Shostakovich wrote numerous works of music in secret. His first violin concerto is one such piece hidden away in a drawer for years until the death of Stalin. Today, I would like to share my performance again, this time with the AAPI community in mind. This passionate work of art holds a very special place in my heart because it is one of the first pieces of music that showed me how music can act as a powerful voice against those who would seek to terrorize and persecute others. Music is not always meant to spark joy or be entertaining or provide comfort. Sometimes it is effective specifically because it embodies vividly the fear and violence that is so often unjustly imposed. I hope it is apparent that my intent here is not to misappropriate or make undue comparisons between various types of oppression and suffering. What I do believe and wish to show is how music like this can move people toward compassion by revealing to us the destruction, violence, rage, and sorrow that is caused by hatred of any kind. I hope this piece reaches your heart as much as it does mine, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.
14th, join me and the stunning Lucia Micarelli as we dive into the emotional depths of song. Can't wait to see you then! Thank you. 